So, Brie, Tori, at your job, do you have a contract? No. I don't. <laughs> You're an uncontracted worker? <laughs> I think so. At my old job, I did, but I quit that one, so you know. <laughs> they made me sign a contract saying that they can fire me for any reason, and I can quit for any reason, and I don't have to explain it. So I quit. I didn't have to explain it. So if you quit this job, you have to explain all your reasoning? I guess so, but, you know, I really like my jobs right now, so I'm not going to quit. All right, well, speaking of jobs and contracts, guess who has contracts? Who? Our teachers. Teacher contracts. What is going on about them? Who knows? That's why we talked to Mr. Spears about it. That He sounds like he would know a lot about contracts. Teacher. He's a president of the teacher's... Society. I think it's a union. <laughs> Maybe. I don't. I don't know. I don't Maybe. know. What, I mean, Sounds good. Maybe we know, should like, talk to him to figure out what he's doing exactly about these know. contracts. Maybe he's the president. Or something. Or something with teachers. So, let's go check it out, kids. Hello, everyone. I'm John Maxey, and today I'm joined by Mr. Spears, who's going to talk a little bit about the current state of the teachers' contract. How are you doing, Mr. Spears? Good, John. Nice to be here. All right. Could you just toss your position in relation to the uh, NEA and the teacher contract? Sure. Uh, I'm the president of the Teachers Association. Um, it's actually the association covers all the teachers and all the support staff personnel. Okay. And what's the current state of the contract? What's, uh, why has it not been voted on? Sure. Why well, has the, it not the, been approved? The current EA contract um, is what's now called in status quo. Mm -hmm. Our contract expired in the end of August. So since we started the school year, September 1st, our contract has, has been what's called status quo, which means the current, the old contract just kind of stays in place until we reach uh, the new contract. Okay, so teachers have been working without a contract since the beginning of the school year? Not without a contract, but under an old contract. and. Okay. And things that we normally would have gotten at the start of a of school year didn't happen because we have to stay, everything has to stay the way it was at the end of the contract. So nothing can, can change from the end of the contract until the new contract's finalized. Okay. Why is a new contract in order now? Uh, has something happened that a new one needs to be drafted? Well, every the contract only runs for a certain length of time. Okay. So when that there's a process involved that usually starts uh, the January before the contract ends and hopefully is wrapped up before the old contract expires. In this case, we haven't been able to get there yet. Okay, and I know it's called the teacher's contract, but who does it cover specifically? It covers the teachers, guidance counselors, uh, school nurses, anyone who uh, has a teaching degree in the, in the district. Okay, does support staff have a separate contract? Support staff has a separate contract, so you know, the secretaries, cafeteria workers, um, paraprofessionals, bus drivers, all those people have their separate contract. Their contract actually is set to expire uh, in, at the end of June this year. Okay. So we'll actually have to start that bargaining starting in January as well. Okay. Could you tell us the basic uh, benefits involved in the old contract now and what you're trying to improve with the new contract? Well, I can't talk about too many specifics, but any contract okay. covers any of the salaries and, and benefits, health benefits, um, working conditions, all of those kind of things that, that they're in the they're in the contract. And you know, we realize that that the district has financial limitations mm -hmm. and other limitations, and we take all that into effect when we negotiate with the district and, and come up with what we th hope is a fair contract for both sides. Okay. How does that new contract get approved? Uh, the new contract has to be approved because it's a contract by both sides. So the teachers have to uh, vote on it and okay. then the school board has to vote on it. Okay. Has it been voted on either side yet? There's a little bit of controversy around that. The teachers uh, believe we reached what's called a tentative agreement and voted on that tentative agreement. Okay. The board did not vote on the tentative agreement saying that it wasn't a tentative agreement. So that's kind of where the, the, okay. the snag is at the moment. How have negotiations been going between the teachers union and the union and the board? 
How, what was the, what's the process more? Well, the pro well, we obviously we each each side has a team, okay, uh, a small group that represents them, and they sit down and discuss the items that both sides want to see changed or or what things need to be clarified in the contract, uh, and then we agree upon what things will or won't be changed, uh, and then once we get all of that process, we present it to our sides to be voted on. Okay. Are there any third party factors such as the budget, state budget crisis right now affecting the contract? That's definitely part of the, of all the nuances in, in negotiating this current contract. Um, the state budget as proposed by Governor Wolf would mm -hmm. have been very beneficial to the North Santa Area School District. We would have seen an increase, uh, a large increase in, in state funding. Um, unfortunately, that budget hasn't been approved and there's a lot of, of political wrangling that's going on in Harrisburg about trying to get that budget passed. So while the, the proposed budget looked very good, mm -hmm. what exactly comes out isn't sure. So we've kind of been negotiating with that kind of pretense and we don't really know exactly how much we're going to, what the state budget's going to look like or when it's going to get approved. So of course that has some bearing on, on how you negotiate or, or what you, what either side can, can present in their negotiations. Okay. What has to, what do you think has to be approved first? Uh, I think part of that has to go along with um, some other details in, in the contract. Mm -hmm. I, sh I certainly think we could reach a contract without the state budget mm -hmm. being passed um, on some parameters but they and have ramifications. To work together, sort of. Uh, well, we can kind of make some assumptions, uh, but I think <clears throat> going forward with a with a state budget would would make it certainly more clear, but I don't think necessary. Okay. And a lot of people like to take sides here, you know, like you said, right? People like to pin them against each other. But overall, what does the board and teachers all want? Well, I think what we all want is the best education we can provide for all of the students mm -hmm. um, and be financially and fiscally responsible to the taxpayers yeah. um, who ultimately are, are paying all the bills. And, and we recognize that and the board recognizes that. So trying to keep all of those things in balance um, is important. It's kind of like a nice stool. It's got mm -hmm. three legs. You know, there's the teacher's part of it. There's the school board part of it, but there's the community part of it too. And if any one of those legs is kind of cut too short, it's not going to be a very stable stool. So we realize that, the board realizes that, and we hope the community realizes that too. Okay. What's the next step for the contract? Um, well, we're going to keep negotiating or, or trying to negotiate with the board and, and try and reach some type of, of agreement because um, we realize that once we get an agreement, there's a lot of things that um, you know, kind of just become easier yeah. and become a little less stressful and, and things can move forward. So we're hoping to get reach some type of agreement as soon as possible. All right. Do you have any thoughts you'd like to add? Um, well, I know that uh, part of the problem also is with the recent school board election. There's been mm -hmm. some new board members. So there's, oh, been okay. some, there's been some turnover in that aspect now. So we, we realize that right now the school board is kind of, let's wait until the new board actually gets okay. officially in place, which will be in, in December. Um, and so then hopefully we can get started right away when that happens. Okay, so that transition period has to take place. Yeah, first. a little bit of a transition period from the from the November election till they actually get uh, sworn in and put in place. Okay, that's a good thing to keep in mind. Thank you for joining me today. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm John Maxey, and I just talked to Mr. Spears about the current state of the teacher's contract. Now back to the Eagle's Eye.